What's up, Cricketers? My name is Carrie. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm here to share with you what nobody else in their right mind would be willing to share with you, and that's all of my small business secrets. You're probably wondering why on earth I would be sharing this information with you, because by doing so, that would be giving away all of my secrets to my competition. Why would anybody want to give their best-selling projects to their competition? Well, the truth is that I'm not running this business anymore. I stopped when COVID happened and all the schools shut down and I lost all of my childcare. During that time, I stayed home and I was homeschooling and I didn't have time to keep up with the business. I also kind of pivoted to YouTube and that's where I'm at now. I really love being a YouTuber and being able to help people all across the world start and grow their own small businesses. And even if you're not interested in turning your hobby into a business, you can still learn tons of project ideas, tips, tricks, hacks, all the best things that are cricket related. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my new content. Hit that like button because it really helps the YouTube algorithm think I'm awesome. And subscribe to my channel. I'm here to give you a realistic picture at what it's like to run your own small business, how much you can actually expect to make, I decided to focus on September and October sales because that's the months that we're in right now, the fall season. If you've been following my channel for the last two years, a lot of the projects that I mentioned in this video might not come as much of a surprise to you. You don't have to have a store with hundreds of different items to make money. Sometimes all it takes is one or two really good projects to get you lots of sales. My best selling project has always been my birth announcement elephants. Between September and October, I sold a lot of birth announcement elephants. Each one of these dollar amounts is an elephant that I sold. Can you count how many elephants I sold between September and October? I sold a total of 28 birth announcement elephants for a grand total of $700. Now to be totally clear and transparent, I didn't actually make $700 selling these elephants because that doesn't include the cost. The cost of these elephants is about $10 a piece, so 28 elephants times $10 is $280. Then if you take $700, the total, subtract $280, and then you get $420. So I profited $420 off of these 28 elephants which is still pretty good if you ask me. If you're interested in learning how to make these adorable birth stat elephants, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. There's a template from Creative Fabrica that makes designing these elephants super easy. I'll put a link to that elephant tutorial in the template down below in my video description. If you're interested in purchasing any of the materials that I used in my projects, I have an Amazon list down below in my video description where you can find these materials very easily. Before we dive into my business spreadsheet, I want to announce the giveaway winner from last week's giveaway. If you're new to my channel, every week I've been doing a fun giveaway. To enter my giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. I take everyone's names from the comments, copy and paste them into a random name generator, and then I choose a winner. Last week I was giving away blank wooden ornaments. One important thing to make note of is that these giveaways are for the United States only. Unfortunately, I do not ship internationally. The winner of the Christmas ornament giveaway is... Dennis Lord. Congratulations, Dennis. Since we started off this video by discussing my best-selling item, my birth announcement elephants, I thought that would be a great item to give away this week. So this week, I'll be raffling off one birth announcement elephant. Just leave a comment below to be entered into this week's giveaway. Let's move over to my Excel spreadsheet and see what I sold during the month of September with my Cricut Small Business. The first thing that I sold is a birth announcement elephant for $25, followed by a wedding pillow for another $25. This is what the wedding pillows looked like. 
I couldn't find the exact SVG I used for that pillow because I made it several years ago, but I did find some that are very similar. I'll include the links to these SVGs down below in my video description. I sold another one, two, three elephants, another wedding pillow, three more elephants, and a lantern. The lanterns are probably my second best-selling project. I sold a ton of those over the years. Usually people would purchase them as a memorial gift when um, a loved one or a pet passed away. Another thing that a lot of people will do is use them in weddings. I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel about how to convert somebody's photo into an SVG to put on these lanterns. If you're interested in learning how to do that, go check out that video on my channel. I sold another elephant for baby Emma. And this is when I started selling pumpkins. Personalized pumpkins are the best thing to sell during the fall. I love selling the elephants and lanterns because you can sell them all year round. There's always new babies being born and there's always people dying. So you can get sales all year round with those two projects. But if you're looking for something fall specific, these pumpkins are where it's at. You get them from Michaels. I have a whole tutorial on my channel. Like I said, if you're already a follower of my channel, then a lot of these projects might not be anything new to you. All along, I've been sharing my best-selling projects with you and how to make them. Now we're just going back and looking at my business stats and seeing how many of them I sold and how much I made selling them. I buy the blank pumpkins from Michaels. They come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. After the pumpkin, I have something that I wrote down as a burlap wedding thing. Unfortunately, I could not find a photo of that. It wasn't something that I sold regularly. It was a custom order from somebody, but all it was was a little piece of burlap like on a string. And it was a sign that a ring bearer held during the wedding and it said like, here comes the bride or something like that. So I sold one of those for 20 bucks, followed by a small pumpkin, three more elephants, and two pumpkins, a large and a small. Another cool thing about going back and looking at these spreadsheets is it will help you figure out like what sizes of things that I sold more of. So you could pay attention to the pumpkins and see if I sold more of the small ones or medium ones or large ones to kind of give you an idea of which ones you should buy more of. So that wraps up my September sales. Now let's move over and check out the October sales. I sold a lot more in October than I did in September. And that's probably because that's when my kids went back to school in September. So I was kind of just gaining the momentum of getting back to work. Um, I always slowed down my business during the summer when my kids were home. So by the time October came around, I was chugging along. I was getting more sales, growing my business and selling more. I started off the month of October by selling a large white pumpkin, followed by a lantern, a wedding pillow, a pumpkin, another pumpkin, and then two art signs. Let's talk about these art signs. The total cost for me to make these signs is under about $3. I bought the wood tile signs from Home Depot. Um, I also have a tutorial on how to make these on my YouTube channel. They sell for $1.93 per tile. It's not wood, but it's made to look like wood. I got the string and the clothespins from the Dollar Tree, and then you just need some permanent vinyl. I wrote things like, look what Barrett made, or Sears Masterpieces. I typically sold them for $25 a piece, but I think I gave this particular customer a discount because they were buying two, so I only charged them $45. I gave them a $5 discount. After the art signs came two more birth announcement elephants and a couple more pumpkins. I have a small orange pumpkin, a large white pumpkin, two large pumpkins, three small pumpkins, four small pumpkins, one large pumpkin, two medium pumpkins, one medium pumpkin. The colors vary. They come in orange and white. I sold two more elephants, another small orange pumpkin, another elephant, another medium white pumpkin, um, here's something new, a maiden vagina onesie. Baby onesies are one of my favorite clothing items to make because it uses such a small amount of vinyl and you can still sell them for just as much as you can sell an adult t-shirt for. I typically sold my onesies for $10 a piece. The next thing that I sold is a photo pillow for $50. I'm not going to share the photo of this project because um, it's really heartbreaking and I want to respect the family. It was a photo of a four-year-old girl who passed away very tragically. I use the same technique that I use on... 
bear with me with my voice. I'm actually kind of sick right now and my throat is swollen and it's really hard and painful to talk when I'm trying to push through this video. I used the same technique on this pillow that I used on my memorial lanterns where I convert somebody's photo into an SVG. From there, you can take that photo and put it on a pillow or a lantern or a shirt or whatever you want to. This particular project, I put it on a pillow. It's the same type of pillow that I used for the wedding pillows. Since it was such a custom project and it takes so much time to convert those photos and do a good job doing it, I charged more. So I made 50 bucks off of that pillow. After the photo pillow, I sold two more elephants, a wine glass for $7. I sold a whole bunch of wine glasses with my business. I had a custom order for a shot glass that said Boss Lady. I only charged $3 for it because I got the shot glass from the Dollar Tree and it used a tiny, tiny amount of vinyl. They also wanted a mug for their boss to go with the shot glass. So I charged $7 for the mug, $3 for the shot glass. Then I sold another medium white pumpkin. I sold so much in October that I had to break my Excel spreadsheet into two screenshots. So this is the second half of what I sold in October. I sold a large white pumpkin, a pink elephant, another onesie. This one said, hello world. I often advertise these with my elephants as kind of like an add-on purchase. If a customer came to me and wanted to buy a birth announcement elephant, I would just let them know like, hey, I'm also selling these onesies. They're custom. I can add the baby's name. This is a picture of what it looks like, and that would often get me more sales. After the Hello World onesie, I sold two more elephants, a large pumpkin. This one said Blessed Home, and this pumpkin was a custom order. I sold two personalized unicorns in October. Um, I have another video on my YouTube channel about how to personalize stuffed animals. I was buying the unicorns from Five Below. I would add the child's name using glitter vinyl and then turn around and sell them for $25 a piece. Then I sold four more birth announcement elephants. After that came something called an unplugged canvas. This was a custom order for a customer who was getting married. They didn't want any cell phones at their wedding. I charged them $30 for the canvas. That same person also wanted a wood sign that said thank you. So I used those same wood tiles from Home Depot. I wrote thank you on it and I charged her $20 for that. During the month of October, I also started selling signs for $35. I called them K through 12 signs. These signs were made out of real wood that I actually sanded, stained, polyurethane, and then added vinyl to. I used Oracle 651 vinyl to make these signs and then I used the strings with the clothespins from the Dollar Tree. I sold another onesie. I don't know why it says $25. I guess I charged a lot of money for this particular onesie. Um, then there was another elephant, another wedding pillow. One important thing to keep in mind is that October is one of the busiest wedding months of the year. So don't focus too much on fall specific projects. Weddings are a great niche to focus on in the fall. That's why I sold so many of these wedding pillows. The pumpkins also make great wedding gifts. The next thing that I sold is a Halloween trick-or-treating bucket that I personalized with my Cricut. It's actually a sandbox bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree, so only a buck. I sold this one for $5. In the past, I had sold them for $10, but I think I was just trying to get rid of them, so I sold this one for 5 I had a custom order for an Elvis oven mitt, so I used that same technique where I take a photo and I turn it into an SVG, and then I put it on an oven mitt for a customer. She was over the moon. She loved Elvis and the oven mitt. I charged $10 for that. The oven mitt was from the Dollar Tree. I sell tons of oven mitts during Christmas. I sold another elephant. I also sold two pairs of naughty underwear. These are my best sellers during Valentine's Day, but I think somebody saw them on my page and just randomly wanted to buy them. I charged her $8 per pair. Usually I sell them for $10, but I don't know. I guess I was feeling generous this month that I was selling things for cheaper than usual. So you can get, I guess, eight to $10 for these naughty underwear. And then the last thing that I sold was another elephant. This elephant was a little different than the birth announcement ones that I have done. The woman who bought this elephant was buying it for a baby shower and the baby hadn't been born yet. So they didn't have the birth stats, but the customer really wanted to buy an elephant for them. 
So I recommended putting like a little nursery rhyme phrase on the other ear. She chose twinkle, twinkle, little star. So that wraps up everything that I sold during the months of September and October. I showed you how many of them I sold, how much I sold them for. And in between September and October, I made $1,866 with my Cricut Small Business. If you want to make any of the projects that I featured in this video, I have links to the tutorials down below in my video description. I also have an Amazon link where you can find the materials that I purchased on Amazon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, hit that big thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite project. Thanks for watching. Bye!